Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Tatum Vaught. Well, Alabama men's basketball season has officially come to an end, and unfortunately, it wasn't as sweet as last year's. After punching their ticket to March Madness and flying out to San Diego for the first round of 64, the Tide had to take on the Fighting Irish in order to advance. Bad news right off the bat, three and a half minutes in and Javon Quinterly goes down in pain. A left knee injury and he would not return, but Alabama did all right in the first half without JQ. J.D. Davidson, who was running the point, nails the three. Bama led 25 to 21. J.D. finished with 11 points and nine assists. Noah Gurley cleans up the Jawan Gary miss, 32 to 32. Notre Dame led 41 to 36 at the break, but it was all Notre Dame in the second half. Cormac Ryan torched the tide. This three puts the Irish up 55 to 44. He was seven for nine from three and had 29 points. Notre Dame rolls the tide 78 to 64 and advances to the Sweet 16. Bama ends the season on a four game losing streak and finished the season 19 to 14. Reaction now from both head coaches. Looking inside the NFL, it's been a week of quarterback musical chairs. Longtime Atlanta Falcons quarterback Matt Ryan has been traded to the Indianapolis Colts. Shortly after the trade, the Falcons announced that they signed Marcus Mariota. That's a name you haven't heard in a while. That's because Mariota had been the backup quarterback for the Tennessee Titans for the past two seasons, seeing limited playing time. But Falcons head coach Arthur Smith and the rest of the franchise are excited to see what he can do back in the spotlight. And finally, while it's not official, it appears that former Houston quarterback Deshaun Watson will be headed to Cleveland next season. Controversy has surrounded Watson for more than a year, with the quarterback facing 22 civil lawsuits over sexual assaults. Some say Watson could be suspended in the fall. However, he has currently not been criminally charged in those cases. That's all for sports. Stay tuned for more on the News at 6.